Okay, so we're gonna go through um, the major joints, the joint actions and the major muscles that are activated in the concentric phase of a deadlift first. So we'll just try deadlift up here. Okay, and I've drawn this little table to make it a bit more clear. So there are three major joints that are used during the concentric phase of a deadlift. Um, and the first one is a hip. The second one is knee. And the third one is ankle. So we'll write that there. So those are the three um, main joints that are used during a concentric phase of a deadlift. Now the concentric phase of a deadlift is the movement where the bar is coming up off the floor and up and up onto your waist so it's 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 the upward movement of lifting the weight up not lifting the weight down Lift, going back down is the eccentric movement so we're just concentrating on the concentric movement um, the joint actions in the concentric phase we'll go through now with these three joints so with the hip the joint action is an extension so it's a hip extension so we'll write that there um, with the knee the knee joint action is also an extension so this is when the bar is coming up off the floor and you are extending both your hips and your knees into an upright position and then with the ankle, it is a plantar flexion. So similar to when you do calf raises, your plantar, that is also a plantar flexion move. Um, now, the major muscles that are activated within these uh, joints, with the first one with hip and hip extension, you've got the gluteus maximus. So your glute muscle there, and you also have your hamstrings. So the hamstrings are the major muscle on the back of your leg opposite to your quadriceps. With your knee, um, the major muscle activated there in the knee extension is your quadricep muscle. And then with your ankle and the plantar flexion, the major muscle activated there is your gastrocnemius muscle. Gastrocnemius. And that is just the muscle um, just there that runs the back of your leg there. Um, and yeah, those are the three main joints, the joint actions and the major muscles used um, during a concentric phase of a deadlift. Now, we're just going to rub this out and we're going to do the same, but for a shoulder press. So, we'll do shoulder press. Now, again, we are just focusing on the concentric phase of the shoulder press, and that is the phase where the weight is um, going in that upward motion there. So from that's your starting position there at your shoulders and it's when you exhale and push the weight up, that is the concentric phase of the shoulder press. So going back to our table. Again, there are three major joints that are used in the shoulder in the concentric phase of a shoulder press the first one being your scapula so your scapula there the second one being your shoulders and the third one being your elbows so those are the three main joints um, and now we're going to go through the joint actions in the concentric phase that happens in, in with the shoulder press. So with your scapula, 
um, that the joint action there is a lateral rotation. So that's when the weight is going up, your scapula is laterally rotating as you push that weight up. So that there is called a lateral rotation. If you were to bring the weight back down, that would be a medial rotation of the scapula coming back down. Uh, the next one we have the shoulders and with the shoulders, this is an abduction, so a shoulder abduction. Yeah. And again, this is when you are lifting the weight up and your shoulders um, are moving away up and being abducted from your body up there like that. With your elbows, um, it is an elbow extension for the joint action, so that's an extension. As you're lifting the weight up, your elbows extend up to push that weight up. So those are the joints, the joint actions in the concentric phase, and now we're gonna go through the major muscles that are activated. So with your scapula um, during the lateral rotation, the major muscles used there are the upper trapezius. So upper trapezius muscle there. Uh, with your shoulders and the shoulder abduction, the major muscle group there activated is your deltoids. And you also have a little bit of activation of the upper trapezius as well in that one. With your elbows and the elbow extensions, the major muscle group that is used there is your tricep brachii. And that's it. So we went through the concentric phase of both a deadlift and a shoulder press. Um, we listed the main joints, the joint actions, and the muscles that are activated in each of those. Cool, thanks.